smell quite crazy actually, but I'm gonna do it for the views. <laughs> okay, I can do this. This is $10 Dining, where we go to a random city and try to do a whole day of eating for under $10. This is Twit. She and I already tried eating some of the world's most expensive food. Whoa! But now, it's time she goes out on her own. It's been open for three generations. Hunting down the best food deals around her country of Vietnam. Oh my god, look at this. The budget is tight. It's really black. And the odds are stacked against her. Thank you, Sonny, so much for giving me $10. I mean, maybe a little bit more next time. So, can she pull it off? Let's find out. Saigon, 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 Vietnam. I have to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner for under $10. I'm a little worried because it's a Thai budget, but at the same time, I'm quite confident because there is food in every single corner of the city. And there is also a lot of affordable, cheap, delicious street food as well. So let's see if I can do it. Let's go. Our first location, or uh, her first location, this banh mi shop. The banh mi is one of Vietnam's most famous food exports. Personal sized baguette bread stuffed with goodies. But here, they're putting a dark twist on this age old classic. Mình làm cái tiệm này được, uh, 8 năm rồi. Mr. Hugh is the third generation in his family running this small scale banh mi factory. Wow. Which brought us here is his latest creation, his new activated charcoal sandwich. Okay, so he said it's gonna have this smell of black charcoal and also it have a slight sweetness. I'm very excited to try. When I eat this, I'm gonna get any health benefit. He's gonna Google the health benefits for us. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Before it hit the food scene, activated charcoal was already being used medically to treat certain overdoses. It's actually not very different from making the usual banh mi. When combined with food, some folks insist that it can detox your body, improving your skin, and even whitening your teeth. Right now, they are doing a very violent massage, and he just slapped really hard the dose, you know, like you hate it and they would roll it. And the cool thing is, they do it for so long that they all equal. This is amazing, because I cannot do that. With some sesame seeds on top, the dough is left to get some rest for an hour before it's ready to get baked, man. This resting process is called proofing, and you can also get baked before trying this bread. It's really black, but the size is, is normal. Oh my god, look at this, inside out, smell from the charcoal, and also the sesame seed. Mm. I agree, the bread is not so dense, it has this airy texture, but when you eat it, yes, I can taste the sweetness, really, really nice. The black banh mi is stuffed with Vietnamese shumai, some dreaded cucumber, and delicious pickles, herbs, cha su pork, and finally, their homemade red sauce to tie it all together. Today, I'm very excited because it's my first black choco banh mi. Aside from being a best ever guest host on this channel, Twin also specializes in being the slowest food chewer on the planet. Very cool. Wow. The flavor of the pork, it's just so delicious and so tender. The sour from the pickle and also all of the herbs that actually make it very, very easy to eat. So compared to the normal banh mi, I cannot really taste much of a difference. But again, maybe a little bit of sweetness still. The owner said earlier that once he have this, he just like, you know, ditched the normal banh mi completely. So yeah, once you go black, you can never go back. I agree. Our second $10 dining dish, oil shower fried chicken and rice. We are here with Mr. Tuong, which is the owner of the place. And yeah. Yeah. Fried chicken is everywhere in Vietnam, but no one is doing it quite like this. As you can see here, I have some awesome machines going on. Mr. Duan fell in love with machinery as a child. It seemed there was no problem the right gadget couldn't fix. Even the challenge of making the perfect fried chicken. Thật chắc anh không phải là đầu bếp, mà anh là người chế tạo máy. Rồi có lần đi ăn. One time he went to a restaurant. He saw that people actually deep fry the chicken and not actually shower in the hot oil. So he said, "Okay, I'm gonna make a machine and solve all of the problems." 
contraption resembles a commercial dishwashing machine, but instead of hot water, it sprays boiling hot oil from above, showering the chicken beneath. It takes him 18 years to make this machine, but he told me that he quit it three times already, and he only made it till the fourth time. This is oil shower chicken, and it's only one of this mad food scientist's creations. Later on, when he opened this restaurant, he also needed a person who stir fry the rice. And he's like, okay, why not just make a machine? They're gonna do it by itself. Tired of tending to your fried rice? Now, you don't have to. This device uses a mechanized revolving blade to continuously stir the rice about, with no assistance needed from humans. Well, maybe a little. It's a work in progress. So the key idea here is he gonna keep the moisture of the chicken and the rice still inside while the outside is very crispy. A few steps away from the kitchen and I am here in the middle of the alley. Also some vibes going around, but I'm here enjoying my chicken rice for lunch. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Firstly, oil. <laughs> Let's be real. But can you hear it? Wow. Break it apart, come right out. I'm gonna try this part right here, the skin. Mmm, it cannot be crispier. This is amazing, this meat right here. Let's see if it's juicy like he said. Oh my God, it's true. One of the best chicken shower in the hot oil that I ever had. Super crispy on the outside, and on the inside, it's still very moist and juicy and tender as well. Is it a little crazy to say this machine makes better fried rice and fried chicken than humans? <laughs> a little cruel, but it's true. Now let's try this. I'm gonna put the chicken on top of the rice. I learned this from Sunny. After two meals, Twin still has over half her money remaining. As the one funding this risky series, I am very happy. But let's see if she can stay under budget with her final meal of the day. Oh my god. Wow. That is just delicious. This video is one tasty treat for Twin. Many of these unique yum yums have never been seen by outsiders before, including her dinner. Okay, so the sun is going down and I'm also at our last stop today, right here in this cart. We know. We Ah, wow, you guys. I feel very special right now because it's been open for three generations and they serve only this dish. Upon first glance, it looks like any other noodle soup. A stringy carbohydrate in a bowl of ocean fish filet. Nothing could go wrong, right? Wrong. Except that they serve it with this fish stomach. As a Vietnamese, it's true that we eat many parts of the fish, but I never had fish stomach before. People eat the stomach mainly because of the chewy, crunchy texture that it has. And she said this dish is originally from a province in China, as we are in Chinatown right now in Vietnam. Chinatown, a potluck of diverse, delicious street food, all found in one place, featuring classics and some rather unexpected food fare. So this is a very unique fish soup, actually. I can smell a lot of it right now from the broth. This rare delicacy is a combination of thread noodles. Compared to other noodle dish in Vietnam, it's super thin, like me, skinny. <laughs> fish meat, and a pork broth made with pork bones, ginger, cabbage, and scallions. We all know that the fish smell can be a lot to some people, and that is why they put ginger in the broth. It actually soothes the fishy smell and taste, you know? I see fish egg, fish ball as well, fish filet, and then here is some fish stomach. Oh my god, it looks absolutely crazy, absolutely nuts. And of course our noodle, super thin. Mm, because it's very thin, that is like kind of melt in your mouth, like you don't have to chew as much like some other noodles. This one, I did like one, two. <laughs> Yay, try the meat. Actually, coming from an ocean fish, the taste is quite strong, but at the same time, it's soft, it's tender, but it doesn't fall apart when I chew it. Fish egg. <laughs> it looks absolutely crazy. Like an alien, kind of mutant sea urchin, small version. Mm, so it has this nutty taste. You can feel it that this texture of thousands of tiny little fish eggs looks quite fun. This crazy moment is here, I'm quite scared. So this fish stomach, I never have it in my entire life. It smells quite crazy actually, but I'm gonna do it for the views. <laughs> Wait, 
I need a second. <laughs> if you don't eat fish often, then I don't think it's a good choice for you. The fish taste is very, very strong. The texture is crunchy. When you chew it, you actually hear it. Wow, it's out there. But I think I like it and I would come back for this just because they only have one cart like this in the whole Vietnam. And this is such a good experience for me because I never had this dish ever before. So you guys, we made it. I mean, we ate breakfast, lunch and dinner and the total is actually $6.99. I made it! I'm gonna pick one of my favorites and my choice would be the first location. It's a very nice upgraded version of the iconic banh mi that we are very used to in Vietnam. It's only cost me $1.30. A very, very delicious, affordable breakfast. Merge alert! This is for all you head-to-tail adventurous eaters. Always down for trying something new. No waste, more taste. Only available to the end of March. So you guys, this is it for this one. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you do, please subscribe to Best Ever Food Review Show channel. I see you next time. Oh, I forgot that. Okay. <laughs>